Meantime, the Lagos state government says it is geared to tackle the perpetration of sexual, domestic and gender-based violence against persons living with disabilities. Executive Secretary, Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, Titi Lala Vaivo Adeni, stated this, at the one-day engagement with persons living with disabilities on sexual and gender-based violence in Ikeja. She said that the issue of domestic, sexual and gender-based violence disproportionately affected persons with disabilities, a community often faced with multiple forms of discrimination and exclusion. She said the agency was deeply committed to ensuring that all individuals, regardless of their abilities, had access to justice, support and protection from violence. According to her, PWDs are particularly vulnerable to sexual and gender-based violence due to a variety of factors. For us to be very deliberate and intentional about engaging um, with persons with disabilities as you know, they experience or they are susceptible to experiencing domestic and sexual violence. And so without reinventing the wheel, we thought it was expedient to leverage on partnerships. So we're partnering with the Office of Disability Affairs and an NGO that has been doing phenomenal work in this space, Center for Women's Health and Information in Nigeria. We're engaging with different clusters, um, persons with physical challenge, um, persons with auditory impairment, visual impairment, um, and other forms of um, disability. Higher risk of experiencing um, sexual and gender-based violence. It's a double whammy for them, double jeopardy. Um, so whilst we don't have sufficient data to show us the prevalence amongst persons with disabilities, we are being um, proactive. We are trying to engage them from a preventive lens and then letting them know about our, our services that they and their, 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 um, their colleagues if other persons with disabilities can't take advantage of. And this is not a one-off engagement. This is just an entry point to this sector. We hope that um, in the coming months we'll continue to engage and we'll go to each cluster, engage them as it concerns them. There's been so much talk about gender-based violence, and, but for persons with disability, the narrative must change to a particular direction in such a way that the society at large should not see that they are doing persons with disability a favor. Um, we've always encouraged persons with disability to speak up when it comes to gender-based violence. Yeah, either way, either men or women, uh, not as much as possible. The, we, we are not there yet and um, we will keep pushing to that level. Much more inclined with these um, with this um, uh, advocacy and again I want us as the victim so to say persons with disability to equally try to I mean whatever you are going through say it out inform the the the, the necessary agency so that they can come into our arrest hello Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.